All right, here I am. I'm back at one of my ledges I haven't been to for over a year, I think. So I just quick abseil down and go see if we can get a dewy or something decent. So yeah, it should be a bit of fun. What's going on? There we go. Kind of like a good wet abseil. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. oh. Good. Finally. Get this bloody thing off. It'd be nice. There we go. Alright, so now I'm just going to get myself set up. There's a bolt there courtesy of a rock climber. Not me. And um, stitch up another thing on there. Oh, it's a bit wet and cold today. All right. All right, let's get stuck into it. Keen as your line in the water. Keen as mustard. Let's see. First up, we're going hunt tackle squidly. Had a different trace on from trying to catch a shark the other day. But I can't be bothered changing it, so we're going to leave it for now. 
It's a bit heavier, 200 pound pink, but all right. Got herring down there. First cast of the morning. Let's get it in there. Let's get a fish. Changed over the leader to some 140 fairy bass. Looks a little bit nicer on the eyes. Hopefully the fish agree with it. Right, I'm changing things up a bit. I've put on bait rig, so we're going to chuck in a bit of bait, a bit of squid. Got a bit of yellow tail. Not yellow tail kingfish, the little yellow tail. And, and maybe some pilchards. And if I can't get anything on that, then I'll get something on that. Let's not think about it. Well, I was probably getting heaps of bites and I didn't even realise. Bit of a seto. I'd like to get a snapper. I haven't caught a snapper in a while. That's a fish, there we go. It's not very big. Probably it's a Braxy or something worthwhile catching. Sorry, like Western King Rass. Oh no, it's a, it is a Braxy, cool. I don't know why I thought it was a Western King Rass for a second then. All right, sweet. That's a good fish on the board. Nice looking fish. Yummy. Not very big. That's a bit better. I think, oh, is it still on? Yeah, it's still on. It's not fought harder initially. Another break sea. You know, I haven't caught a break sea, or I haven't caught many break seas since I started using plastics. Now, I'm not sure why. I'm probably just fishing too big for them. But there's another awesome looking break see and these things are right up there as some of the best eating fish around there's a lot of bird activity going on i might have to chuck on a plastic again for a second throw it out there and see that's a little swallow tail Cool looking little fish I just caught.
That's a good fish. It's coming up now. What is that? Oh, it's a big, um, big, uh, big queenie. I haven't caught one of these in ages. Would have preferred a pinky or a dewy, but they're a cool looking fish. And a good size one nonetheless. So there we have a, um, it's a queen snapper or a blue moorwong. They're pretty good eating. They're not my favourite, but um, if I don't eat it, I'm sure some other friends of mine would love it at the moment. Got the old coronavirus deal going on at the moment anyway, so I reckon some mates of mine wouldn't mind a bit of extra meat to eat because uh, the shops are a bit crazy as the rest of the world probably is aware of. All right, so I'm about ready to go. All packed up. Um, everything's in there. Rope is here. All my crap I had is tidied up. So now, all I'm gonna do. Oh yeah, sorry, and the fishing rod, I don't put in my backpack, because otherwise the tip will probably whack something on the way up and I'll snap it and I'll then cry. So the fishing rod, how am I gonna show you? Hard to see. Tucked it down the back of my shirt and in through the bottom of my climbing harness to keep it snug. Um, and it can't slip out because the guides prevent it from sliding down. Sometimes I wear my life jacket as I climb out and slip it in the back there and down through the harness. Um, something like that to keep it out of the way and so hopefully it won't as I'm leaning in hit the rocks because that's a real pain in the ass and that does happen sometimes um, so I'll show you the next bit so now get the rope and get a big long bit of slack and tie a loop I might actually go a bit more than that oh. Yeah, don't need much more. That there. And then. Oh, unload that so I can get it off. Keep that to that. Might as well give it the old double clip. I don't like the way I've done that double clip. That double clip was about as useless as you can get. Yeah. There we go. I should do that. Kind of let that film me as I climb up. I don't know if it'll be useful or not. Um, and you could bundle up the rope into a knot and in, bundle it up and tie it up but the biggest problem with that is knots in ropes catch on things so if you just leave it, it should be alright or you could alternatively bundle it and chuck it in the backpack to keep it out of the way and then you only have that going up and the rest in the backpack but it's all soaking wet and I don't want it in there um, I did bring climbing shoes down but it's been pissing down with rain so I'm not going to use them just going in might just do the old double pull out system
taken up slack for days. I'll probably do a combination of climbing, pulling on rope, whatever, and I'll get myself out of here. And that's it. Let's load that rope up properly. Even though it's a static rope, it still has a fair amount of stretch in it when you've got, I estimate I've got 60 to 70 meters of rope out from where I anchored at the top. Um, and so when I get just over the edge up there, where it starts to, it goes steep, so it goes steep and then tapers off a bit right on the edge there I'll probably pull my bag up rather than having to drag my rope and crap over that edge which is bad for it and if my bag were to fall it would load this, I wouldn't be able to lift that up unless I lifted the bag every time, but I could just get out using that device only on a tensioned rope, but I couldn't get out using that device. All right. Can take that off now. And that there. I'm not sure which Location will be better to uh, drag my bag up from actually. Oh, this is pretty good. Here comes the backpack. I should have taken the backpack straps off my backpack. They're freaking grinding all the way up. <sighs> all right, I'll leave it at that. I'm just gonna throw the backpack on my back now. Pretty much can walk up using the rope as safety. And I'm out of here. So thanks heaps for watching guys. Um, give us a like, give us a comment if you want, share it around show your mates or whatever and um, subscribe if you're not subscribed and you enjoy the videos. Alright, cheers. See you guys.